We have a lot of clients who are newly immigrants, who doesn't know the system, who doesn't know where to go, what to do, where to start. Everything is different. So our traditional health workers will sit with each individual clients and they will make a plan. And many times they will go with the clients to help them, to translate for them. So this is very important, especially for new immigrants. Traditional health worker is an umbrella term and it comprises a variety of frontline social health providers that work at the individual and community level, many times working in the communities that they are from. If you consider the populations that THWs serve, these are folks who are likely to fall through the cracks in our very fragmented system. And so the value of THWs is really in promoting equity which is something that is central to what we do. The Traditional Health Workers Grant Program was a two-year program we set up to work specifically with community-based organizations, or CBOs, and understand how they use this unique workforce to meet the needs of our members. Traditional health workers provide a number of services, but these are people who are working in neighborhood organizations and immigrant relief organizations. Organizations you may have never heard of, but are really doing incredible work every single day to meet people's needs. So the grant program is all about learning what's going on there and how we can better support it uh, and sustain it in the long term. We had a total of eight CBOs as part of the THW grant program. We had CBOs that served different populations. And this thought was behind the selection of these CBOs because it was a small program, but we still wanted it to be diverse and we wanted as much representation as possible. I think the foundation of community health work is being from the community and supporting the community. And for us, that means folks who speak the language, who are bicultural, who are supporting the needs in the community in Spanish for Latino families. Traditional health workers take a very significant role in our agency because Asians are family-centered. So when people come to our agency, they would like to look for someone look the same, to be best, speak the same language, and also from the same culture. So with that said, that means traditional health workers not only have this knowledge, not only have the skills, but have a trust from the clients. Because Yinmanhe 了解我們的情況呢,係作出呢,就係話個別嘅,即係話幫助咁樣咯。My name is Angel Bean and I am a peer support specialist with Our Just Future. A traditional healthcare worker is important for this line of work because of our lived experience and our knowledge around navigating some systems. You know, I had to learn how to navigate the systems myself, making phone calls, getting online. So to teach these participants, they get frustrated. They don't want to be on the phone or they don't know what website to look at. Because I have that lived experience, I know how to navigate those systems. And then I share that with them and walk alongside with them. Ultimately, the goals of this grant were a couple of things. One, we really wanted to learn more about THW services and really become more fluent in what those services are and who the populations served were. Secondly, 
We wanted to be able to share more about our vision around partnership with CBOs to deliver on a variety of social health initiatives that we have. And finally, we really wanted to end that grant program with a good model of payment for THW services that was sustainable. We have been using community health workers or traditional health workers for years, but grants come, grants go. How to sustain the worker so that they have a sense of accomplishment. I think this partnership gives a hope to the workforce that they can build a career and being recognized. The grant gave space to our CBO partners to be able to have the time to come to the table. It allowed for that learning collaboration. It also gave them the funds to be able to identify areas that they wanted to build out in their THW programming. This program provided the first traditional health worker at our agency. And so a lot of the other departments are looking at creating a similar position within their programs because it's had such a high success rate with helping participants stay in the services as well as providing that extra capacity to our staff who might not be able to actually do the hand-holding but can really, the peer can really add support to the staff. We're in year three and we've been able to build a lot of capacity for our work in CHW services. We've been able to develop some curriculum to train and support community health workers. We've been able to provide direct services to community members, either one-on-one -on -one family support or provide classes. And we've also been able to increase some of our ability to track and report data by making some updates to our data collection methods, which is continuously growing and improving the services that we provide to Latino community members. What we hope comes out of this payment model is strong relationships with our community-based organization partners. We hope that it results in growth of the traditional health worker workforce, which has been historically underfunded. And we hope that it ultimately results in our members achieving better health outcomes, getting the care that they need, preventing disease when it's not necessary, navigating a health system that can still be daunting to the most informed uh, people, let alone those who are new to their community or new to navigating that health system. I hope this payment model can extend the traditional health worker program. I see uh, how Care Oregon is really investing a lot on the helping and developing culturally specific services. I have great, great hope that we are going to have great outcome of this new model.